Our industry is filled with talented opticians that have Tweedledee theories on how they've always done things. Nancy in Oklahoma. I just hired a new optician who's fabulous. Sells premium AR on everything. Top aggressives. She loves our high-end frame line and sells it like crazy. Except she has one thing that's hard for me to swallow. She tells me, her manager, and the rest of the staff, I don't try to convert people who ask for their PDs. Almost like they're a lost cause. First off, Nancy Darling, I am sorry. It never feels good to have an employee who is seemingly making the rules or, or who's making such devastating business decisions, really. Um, in Spexy, we preach treat an employee like they make a difference and they will. We do it even here, right? <laughs> but there is a hierarchy and a ranking in any business structure, not just an optical, and, and it's that way for a reason, to make sure that the foundational values of that business are, are upheld and delivered to the consumer. So it is your responsibility to handle it. I'm sorry this is happening to you, but it's your responsibility to handle it. So first off, your optician might not even know that she's causing such a disruption and that that behavior is really disheartening to you or, or to the office as a whole, right? Our industry is filled with talented opticians that have Tweedledee theories on how they've always done things, right? They haven't even really thought about it. Like if they stop and actually think about what it is that they're doing, they might go, oh my gosh, right? She might not have had the coaching in the past on effectively converting walkouts. And so then she just assumes, well, they're not worth my time, I'm done, right? So. Either way, a conversation is a must. Now, I don't go into any conversation without a plan. So here's how I would handle it. This is again how we coach our members. I would have an informal meeting with her and sit her down and inquire, right? Tell her that her stance on walking our exes is very unique and that you respect her experience. So you're wanting to know how she came to that conclusion of dealing with patients, right? Hear her out. Listen, you might learn something. Then. I want you to look at the situation that is affecting your office, okay? And take ownership because honestly, you've allowed for this to happen, right? <laughs> and you are having the, the real problems that you're having walkouts, right? If you didn't have walkouts, then this wouldn't be an issue, right? So take some ownership of the issue and give a plan. So um, let's see, you could say, well, here, we've always had a lot of walkouts for a very long time now and you've done such a good job with selling in our optical and it's honestly helped your you know, colleagues to follow in your ways, which has been fantastic. But because this is something that, you know, walkouts is something that our office has always struggled with, where I was planning on having a meeting to cover strategic ways that we could handle walkouts, right? But I wanted to make sure that I wasn't off base or, or really stepping on your toes because you had such a hard line about it. So I was more hoping that you could be kind of a front runner and trying to, I don't know, help our people with some of the new strategies that we'll be discussing, right? Handling a situation up front and with finesse is something that we teach all the time in our Spexy University to all the members in great depth. But hopefully this helps really in, in guiding the overall feel and handling your new optician. But let me say is the very worst thing that you can do is nothing at all and let it continue. For Pete's sake, don't do that. Thank you.